If you have seen this in Cubase and don't know what it is, there's a menu here on the channel settings that says Q Sense. What this is, is what we're gonna talk about in the video today. So let's get to it. Q Sense. Q Sense in Cubase. Um, I'm going to explain what it is because uh, honestly, before this video and before one of my subscribers on my Spanish channel asked me to do a video regarding this subject, I didn't have much clue that Cubase could do this. And I'm glad because uh, now I learned something new and that's what this is all about. So QSense in Cubase is nothing else that headphone mixes. Normally in any setting, uh, if you're playing outside, if you're playing a gig, uh, you have headphones, for example, and you get on your headphones a specific mix of whatever is going on. For example, I'm a drummer, I'm a percussionist. And on my mix, I like to have bass, I like to have, of course, a little bit of the vocals, and it's a place where you control what you want of the mix in your headphones so you're more comfortable at the time of the recording or playing or whatever within cubase you can actually create up to four of these headphone mixes and that's going to give you flexibility if you have multiple people in the studio recording at the same time or if you have a vocalist for example and you want to set up a mix specifically for them with not so many instruments but with just the few that they need and they feel comfortable with. How do you set up the Q Sense? So first and foremost, what you need to do is activate the control room. Go to audio connections, which is found here in studio audio connections. What you want to do is enable this. If I click on it, it's gonna say, are you sure you want to disable the control room? And that's not what I want to do. Of course, it's active on my side right now. If it's not on your side, you need to activate it first. Once it's active, you usually are not gonna see anything here. And if you don't see anything, don't freak out. You just need to go to add channel and everything that you can possibly add, it's in this menu, okay? The one that we wanna create today is a headphone mix. And this is the Q. Q is the headphone mix and you have four available. So we're gonna create one and it's gonna be called Q1, but you can name this whatever you want. So let's do headphone mix one, and you can select stereo or mono, whatever you want, and hit okay. Once you do that, you're gonna immediately see that on the, um, the control room right here, there's a new menu that pop up, and that's the headphone mix one. The next step here on the uh, control room is to set it up to some place, right? In this case, I'm gonna select, for example, Sonox uh, Listen Hub, uh, Output three and four. Let's select just a few. This is just for example purposes because it depends on your interface, it depends on your audio system, whatever you wanna do with that, but just select an output. If not, you're not gonna hear anything on that mix, okay? On this side, you have the talk back. If you select that, you can control the volume of the talk back, and you can also send a metronome to this specific headphone mix and pan it left and right. So there's a bunch of options in there. Right now, what we want to do is send signal from our mix to this. So you can go the route of sending every possible track to that mix. These are all my tracks. I could send all of them using Q-Link, for example. And if you go here to Racks, this normally it's not gonna be um, available, but if you select it, the Q-Sense is gonna pop up here. And there you can see Headphone Mix 1. And what you can do if you have the Q-Link selected is that you can click on one of them and all of them are gonna be activated and they're gonna send signal directly to that Headphone Mix. From here, you can use the current mix levels. Uh, this is very important also. If you do that, it's gonna pick up all the levels 
uh, here on this mix. So that's right click here on the headphone mix and from selected mixer channel. So from all those selected channels, use the current mix level. You can also use the current pan settings too. If you have panning on some of those tracks, it's gonna recreate the same mix. But I kind of don't like to do this uh, this way because I find it that sending every possible track, especially if you have hundreds of tracks, it's gonna take a while, it's gonna be a mess and it's gonna be way too much. So what I like to do, all of those tracks, I have them routed to group channels, drums, bass, 808, keys and synth, FX. So on those group tracks, I'm gonna use them to send signal to my headphone mix. That way, if I activate this, and if the singer or whatever musician is recording says, for example, oh, can you turn down the bass a little bit? Then I can go here and I can just turn the bass on that. I can turn down all the drums at the same time and all the effects, or if they don't want effects, I can disable that. You get the idea. Here's another tip. If you move the faders here, the drums, or decide to lower the drums completely, what's going to happen is that you're not gonna get that signal because all of this is actually right now post fader. So you need to select pre fader for all of this. And that's gonna save you a bunch of headaches if you don't do it that way. And if you move any faders whatsoever here on the mix, you're gonna see the volume going down on that headphone mix and that's not good. So let Q link and then go to this button right here. And once you click on it, all of them are gonna change to pre fader meaning that even if I lower all of this down, you're still gonna get signal sent to that headphone mix. As you can see, and if I boost this up, this is in a nutshell, how do you do headphone mixes? And that's called cues in Cubase. Hope this video is informative. If you're new to this channel, of course, consider subscribing, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you don't miss any other video from us. And until the next one, guys, don't stress, do your best, be blessed, forget the rest. See you around.